so friends in this video we are going to talk about the some important uh, terms points of uh, agriculture so first term we will talk about the angstrom so what is the angstrom if we see angstrom can be denoted as a this symbol and uh, this is the a unit of uh, you can say the displacement and you can write uh, as a this is a one angstrom equal to 10 k power minus 10 meter so this is the one of the unit of the displacement or distance you can measure it as a so you can say it as a one tenth billionth of meter or you can also say it as a 10 k power minus 7 millimeter or you can also say it as a 10 k power minus 8 centimeter so the in conclusion we can say that angstrom is the unit of displacement or you can say the length and it is uh, equal to the 10 k power minus 10 meter and 10 k power minus 7 millimeter or you can also say 10 k power minus 8 centimeter now the second terms we will discuss about the a value so basically it is a it is an isotopic method and isotopic method it is an isotopic method that is used in uh, soil management especially to know the determine the phosphorus and sulfur in soil and this is an isotopic method here what is the means of a, a, a value it means that when the two source which are available in soil and uh, if suppose this source is the a source and b source so plant will convert with these two sources a sources b sources so amount of the absor absorption of this uh, phosphorus and sulfur it will depend on the availability of this nutrient availability of nutrient in these two sources suppose here a source is having 80 percent available form and b source is having 70 percent available form so plant will absorb 80 percent from this and 70 percent from these sources so definitely when the plant will grow in the soil suppose this is the b source is the soil and a source is their fertilizer and b is the soil so this was the when the plant will grow definitely that will uh, confront with the fertilizer as well as the soil so the proportion of the nutrient available form that will be available in that the plant will absorb in that proportion from the, the, these two sources so what we can say we can we can determine the amount of available nutrient in soil in the terms of a standard fertilizer and that term is known as a value and this was uh, proposed by Freed and Dean in 1952 so always remember this is especially used for the assessment of phosphorus and sulfur in the soil a value concept and this is an isotopic method of to determine this phosphorus and sulfur in soil and uh, what this uh, a value infers want to tell that the, when the plant will grow in the soil definitely you will apply the one source is the fertilizer and second source is the soil so the plant will confront with the two sources and this plant will absorb the nutrient from these two sources in proportion of the amount of nutrient those are available in the 
available in the available form so this is uh, especially used to determine the nutrient available nutrient in soil in the terms of a standard fertilizer so this value we used to say that the a value concept mathematically you can express it as a a equal to b bracket 1 minus y divided by y so what you can say where a is amount of available nutrient in soil b is amount of applied fertilizer nutrient and uh, y is proportion of nutrient absorbed in plant from fertilizer so mathematically you can express a value in the form of a equal to b bracket 1 minus y divided by y so through this mathematical equation you can determine the amount of available nutrient in the soil okay now we will discuss about the acid forming fertilizer so what is the mean of acid forming fertilizer suppose a fertilizer you are applying in the soil and the soil uh, in the soil fertilizer is liberating some acid so the amount of calcium carbonate calcium carbonate that is required to neutralize the acidity released by a fertilizer so we can say that the fertilizer those which will liberate acid so we can determine the, in the terms of equivalent acidity so equal equivalent acidity those fertilizer which will have higher equivalent acidity it means that that fertilizer is more acid forming fertilizer so here are the some of the example of acid forming fertilizer the first is ammonium sulfate ammonium chloride anhydrous ammonia and urea so if we see the equivalent acidity of ammonium sulfate so this is 110 it means that uh, the ammonium sulfate when you, you will apply that will release the acidity and the amount of that acidity to neutralize we need 110 kg of calcium carbonate okay so this is equivalent acidity of ammonium sulfate and similarly 128 is the equivalent acidity of ammonium chloride it means that 128 kg of calcium carbonate that is required to neutralize the acid that are released by the ammonium chloride like the anhydrous ammonia this is having one of the highest 148 equivalent acidity equivalent acidity and uh, you can say the here the lowest is having 80 means if we compare among these four acid forming fertilizer so urea is the lowest acid forming fertilizer it means that the amount of acid that is released by the urea it require only 80 kg of calcium carbonate to neutralize that acidity release in the soil okay but here you can see the ammonium uh, ammonium uh, anhydrous ammonia 
that is most uh, acid forming fertilizer so hope you understand what is the acid forming fertilizer